Manipur State AIDS Control Society gears up to host a second Northeast Multimedia Campaign 2020 to raise awareness on HIV AIDS with competition by eight Northeast rock bands. And uh, Psycho Mirabai Chanu betters her own national record, wins gold with 203 kg lift in national championships in Kolkata. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Afternoon News. I'm Joyce Shuvusham with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Manipur State AIDS Control Society, MAX, is all set to hold the second Northeast Multimedia Campaign 2020 on February 6. A press meet was held in this regard today. Eight selected rock bands from the eight Northeast states will compete at Bhagya Chandra Open Air Theatre in Palace Compound under the campaign. Speaking to media at Max office in Lamphil RD Wing Complex, Max Project Director H. Roshita said the campaign aims to spread awareness on preventive measures against HIV AIDS and to stop discrimination against people living with HIV AIDS. She said a Manipur's rock band The Wishes backed a first prize in the first Northeast Multimedia Campaign 2019 held in Kohima and rock band Innocent Eyes will represent Manipur for this year. Speaking to media, Deputy Director of NACO General Dr. Naresh Goel stressed on the need to raise awareness on preventive measures to ward off HIV AIDS among the people, especially among those under 29 years of age. I request all of you please to please come and join us on 6 at the second edition of the Nortis Multimedia Campaign and join us in our uh, fight against uh, HIV and AIDS to address some of the issues of HIV AIDS in the region through music. The whole idea is to reach youth by with a language which they understand and to reach more and more. So we have system of red ribbon clubs in colleges. We have system of adolescence education program in schools for higher classes. And we have a system of out of reaching out of school youth also through NYKS, etc. Candidates of 2013 police constable male waiting list stage has stayed in today demanding the government to recruit them latest by February 15. The protest meet was held at Haubam Mara Kasham Lekai Community Hall. Taking part in the protest demonstration, spokesperson of 2013 police constable male waiting list Tingbai Jam Pradeep stressed on the plights facing them. He appeals to the government to recruit them and give them a chance to be a part of maintaining law and order in the state. Koyito dawan thatin police constable men seven gi koyito police constable gi koyi thatin gi waiting list kangu ne koyi asi DPC gi koyito dawan thatin da Congress government gi matam da tau khivane dubo Congress government hai doctor na thambiram ba do ngasi gi lenga asi na BJP government na yam pukchan chau na onerban siam na. ไฮโดรพีดูนะอคอยอวาวะเมียมะคอหันพีกีอะดูโบงาซิงาซิมักซูวาจิงลิสต์เลยฮอริบะคอยซานีอะมะดีมาซิกีอิมุมะนุงก
ಅದನ್ನ ಇಶಾಕ್ ಜಾಗ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ವಾಕ್ತ ಮಿಂಗೊಂದು ಸಿದ್ಧಬ ಯಾರೋಯ್ ಅದು ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ವಾಕ್ ಯಾವುದನ್ನ ಪುನ್ಸಿದ ಮಾಯಿ ಪಾಕ ಲೈತೆ ಮಾಯಿ ಪಾಕ ಓರ್ಗೆ ಹರಗದಿ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ವಾಕ್ ಅಜಮದಿ ಕಾನ್ Manipur state Sumang Lila Council has condoled the untimely demise of renowned Sumang Lila script writer and academy awardee Ahibam Deben. The condolence ceremony was held at late Ahibam Deben's residence in Hiangthang Mamanglekai today. Members of Manipur state Sumang Lila Council, Sumang Lila associates, artists and family members took part in the ceremony. Attendees paid floral tributes to the portrait of late Ahibam Deben at the event. It may be mentioned that Ahibam Deben passed away at the age of 67 due to an illness on January 26. His notable works include Laikang Thambal, Thadoi Chapter 1 and 2 and Tinnadana Kenkrabi. Two-day national seminar on climate change impact on developing countries was held at Mahatma Gandhi Kashi Vidyapat Varanasi UP on February 4 and 5. Attending the sem- seminar, Director of DDU Center for Kaushal, Dhana Manjuri University Dr. Rahijuddin Sheikh highlighted on the steps taken by the state government and people of Manipur, especially the youths, in fighting against the issues related to climate change. He also mentioned about Class 5 student Ilangbam Valentina, who is the ambassador of Chief Minister's Green Manipur Mission. Pre-production ceremony of Beer Film Productions first Manipuri digital feature film Mayrak was held at Lamyan Bashangland in Palace Compounds today. President of Film Forum Manipur S Mangol Jao Vice President I beg your pardon Vice Chairman of Film Forum Manipur Birendra Salam and eminent filmmaker El Surjakanta Grace Stevent. Malem Lai is the producer of the film while Binoranjan Oinam is the story and screenplay writer and KP Das is the director. Actors Avi Kundrakpam, Soma Lystrom, Gepelina, Mangol Jao, Prem Sharma, Indu and Rajesh Shaikom are in the lead roles of the film. As a part of series of civic action program carried out by 113 battalion BSF commanded by BSF commandant Hidam Shubol to help the local population in making themselves self-reliant, self-sustained, training programs, medical camps have been conducted and essential utility items have been distributed. Free medical camp was held at orphanage Sangha Maun Inn of Chhatanpur district on February 1st. Modern solar street lighting systems were distributed to villages of Ganpin Mall, Torbung and Haulai Kopi on February 3. Commandant Hidam Subol Singh and Deputy Commandant Drup Singh distributed water storage tanks, sports items, trolley dustbins and solar street lighting systems to Lingthau Kong Water Supply Committee, Loktag Auto Owners and Drivers Association, Gilgal Public School Kom Kairag, MGMC Club Wangkai, LCP Wangkai and BB Pol Mental Home Mung Shanghai on February 3 and 4. Three days intensive training on Varmi Kampos was also imparted to 50 farmers from Wangjing, Hairog, Tentha, Nacho, Torbung and Chorchanpur in Kolkata. collaboration with Dina Singh Burmese compost expert from Oinam Sombung from January 30 till February 3 Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break we bring you news on direct tax Vivat Se Vishwas Bill 2020. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Afternoon News. Minister for Finance Nirmala Sitaraman today introduced direct tax Vivat Se Vishwas Bill 2020 in Lok Sabha. The bill was allowed to be presented in the Lok Sabha after stiff opposition from the Congress members Adhir Ranjan Choudhury and Dr. Sashi Tharoor. Congress member Adhir Ranjan Choudhury took serious exception on the title of the bill as it is in bilingual. Dr. Tharoor also opposed that by introducing this bill the government's uh, fiscal collection will come down. The bill was allowed to be introduced by voice vote after the finance minister assured the house that the bill was aimed only to ease the taxpayer who was otherwise needed to go to court to defend his case the government has brought a structured and formula based solution to the dispute The bill aims at reducing litigations in the direct taxes payments. Under the Vivat Se Vishwas scheme announced in the union budget, taxpayers whose 
tax demands are locked in dispute in multiple forums can pay due taxes by 31st of March and get complete waiver of interest and penalty. Under the scheme, if a taxpayer is not able to pay within the 31st of March deadline, he gets a further time until 30th June. But in that case, he would have to pay 10% more on the tax. The 11th edition of Dev Expo 2020, a flagship biennial event of the Ministry of Defence, will kickstart in Lucknow today. The five-day event on the theme India, the Emerging Defence Manufacturing Hub, will be inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. One of the largest mega defence exhibitions of its kind is being held under held for the first time in Lucknow and it will cover the entire spectrum of the country's aerospace, defense and security interests. This edition of DEF Expo promises to bring new technologies, technological solutions where defense manufacturing companies from India and abroad showcase their products and services in defense arena on a single platform. Speaking to media persons at the Curtain Razor event on the eve of DEF Expo in Lucknow yesterday, Defense Minister Rajnath Singh said that the huge participation of foreign countries and exhibitors in the DEF Expo 2020 reflects India's growing stature in the international arena where the world listens to it and powerful nations take pride in marching in step with our country. More than 1,000 companies have registered themselves for participating in the DEF Expo, making it the biggest ever DEF Expo to be held in India. India, Africa Defence Minister's Conclave will be organised for the first time in which more than 30 African countries will participate. Ministers from over 40 countries will also take part in this edition of DEF Expo, making it an important opportunity for countries to further strengthen defence ties with India. Many MOUs are also expected to be inked in this event. Now the sports news. In weightlifting, former world champion Saiko Mirabai Chanu bettered her own national record by 2 kg as she lifted a total of 203 kg to win the 49 kg gold in the national championships in Kolkata yesterday. 25-year-old Saiko Mirabai Chanu lifted 88 kg in snatch in her second attempt and 115 kg in clean and jerk for a total of 203 kg. Her latest feat has put her in fourth place in world rankings behind Chinese Zhang Huihua, 212 kg, and Hao Zihu, 211 kg, and Korean Ri Song Gum, 209 kg. Mirabai's previous best of 201 kg had come at the World Championship in Thailand in September last year, where she had finished fourth. Wankai MLA Okram Henry today distributed jerseys to players of North Eastern Sporting Union Nisu, who will be representing Wankai constituency in the upcoming first RK J Chandra Singh Manipur Youth League 2020, organized by All Manipur Football Association. Speaking on the occasion, MLA Okram Henry urged the players to benefit from Manipur Youth League, wishing the upcoming Manipur Youth League a grand success. He is sure to extend necessary efforts to Nisu players and the management team. Sports jerseys were distributed to Nisu players of 13, 15 and 18 age uh, category at the event held at Nisu Playground in Kurai. Altogether, 825 players from 11 teams consisting of three different age groups will compete in the league. The league will commence from February 6 till April 11. Me di recruit to wey abon ati sana ba siya. Isana willingly ako isana zake hire kan na ako na matayong pangatong agtan. Si ako na smay na mo ibusab tao ba kita may mga mapili ba siya. Mo na willingly yarak paduna ni hire tara. Sana ba ba siya may amni na kahangi dunga is tayo pa na discipline siya siya kipi ng dagi maintain tao ra ka pa na tao hita ra di golden player la di may amjo. Why na ako na nipur su ay gikain ra su ay gile kai ra su ka dobi yaro hire ba duni aduna ako na nipur sa kahangi su si day night sana ba yaba ki policy la abni na niya ko man ki policy makan makan su may amjo ng ay Jadi kelo India kan nak ko, atau nasi kumbu sih tanjal lahora ka, sini nau meyam sini na sana bi ho, ayi ayi line tu dah ilahora ka, ayi ayi cina bapa, sana bapa mana sana bapa, ayi ayi wisdom tu dah cakap laga, so itu na mai pala kani hai bese, ini hai. Republican Party of India RPI Atawale Manipur State Committee today felicitated Brajabashi Mayum Nishita, who has backed a gold medal at the 10th National Vovinam Championship 2020 held at Gujarat. President of RPI Manipur State Committee, Mayeshwar 
Thaunaujam presented gifts to Nishita at the event held at party office in Kashampat. Speaking on the occasion, Maheshwar Thaunaujam lauded sportspersons of the state for bringing laurels by competing at various national and international events. He urged people of the state to encourage and contribute in shaping sportspersons of the state. Party members and people of Kashamtong constituency attended the event. At ay kuigi anganga ma ay kuigi chama sumay na yam yam na masana ang sida yam na kuigi goal ng lawden lakpo sa kana antak turib na kuigi nahe na taka dapat niya ay kuigi kuigi minsan ay kuigi nahe na expose sa social tausheba adun ay duki wakalunda na sa na kitang ngamzaba kara haytare ay kuigi chano pisigi ay kuigi ay nasinjaba ni ay kuigi tawo ka sinjaba ni sida may yam na pulap na ngasis sarug yabin na bida magtasu yam na numayo fong dokchari matung matung da sumana he na he na may pagpa national kuzi national kitak ni international thakta kaya he na goal lawo pa uishan in cricket, defending champions India stormed into their second successive finals of the Under-19 World Cup after thrashing Pakistan by 10 wickets in the first semi-finals in Potchefstroom, South Africa yesterday evening. Four-time champions India produced a superlative all-round display as they first dismissed Pakistan for 172 in 43.1 overs and then returned to overhaul the target with consummate ease, scoring 176 for no loss in 35.2 overs. The final will be played on February 9. India will face the winner of the Bangladesh and New Zealand match scheduled on Thursday, February 6. Goa FC will play against Hyderabad FC in a match of the ongoing India Super League 2019-20 at Goa's Jawaharlal Nehru Stadium tonight at 7.30. Goa FC is at the second position of the league with 30 points, while Hyderabad FC is at the last position with only 6 points. Hero I League match between Chennai City and Indian Arrows will be played at Chennai's Nehru Stadium tonight at 7. Mohan Bagan, Minerva Punjab and Trao FC are at the first, second and third position with 23, 17 and 15 points each respectively in the points tally. Now before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Manipur State AIDS Control Society gears up to host second North East Multimedia Campaign 2020 to raise awareness on HIV AIDS with competition by eight North East rock bands. And a psycho Mirabai Chanu betters her own national record, wins gold with 203 kg lift in national championships in Kolkata.